To add content to your form, use the tool palette on the side. The first icon is to add a question. When you click Add Question, Wherever your cursor happened to be at the time, it will place that question below where your cursor was. As soon as the new question box appears, it's denoted by this blue line on the left, your first ch uh, step is to actually choose what type of question you want to pick. So we're going to do a short answer. At this point, note that I can also add an image. Here we'll do uh, our little bulldog again. And I can now ask a question about this image. What name do you think this dog has? Here, I can left, center, right align, change, or remove the image. So let's center that image up there. So I'm asking for a short answer question about this image. Short answers are, you know, a couple sentences or less. If you're looking for a paragraph response, you don't want to use a short answer question. Below at the bottom is an option to duplicate this question later on in the form. Remove the question entirely. Make the question required or not. And then these menu, uh, if you want, you can show a further description. So please answer in a complete sentence including good punctuation all right i think that this question description area can be very useful to guide students to further prompt them on on what you're looking for from that uh, that main question here all right data validation is a little bit more of an advanced feature covered in other videos.